What is up guys, it's Scott with Never Hedge back for another Meta Materials update and today is a great day. Uh, I just averaged down to my average uh, share price is now uh, just under $3.30. So take advantage of this sale while you can. Uh, we have not been down this low since uh, back in the middle of July when uh, we hit uh, $3.10 for about 10 minutes and then it fucking skyrocketed the next day. Uh, so I'm kind of banking on that. Anything before their earnings report is uh, I'm going to be trying to pick up more on any red days. Anything that's below my current uh, cost average uh, right now. Let's take a look at the RSI is sitting right at 48. So it's not as weak as the price would uh, make you think it was. And MACD lines are looking not terrible, not great as well. Uh, touching this 50 EMA or the 50 MA, this is 50 EMA here, still underneath that. Nice big green crayon coming up right now on the five minute chart. Look at this, above the 50 EMA on the one minute. Very nice, very nice. All right, wanted to get to a couple of things today. It's gonna to be a little bit of a shorter video, but I've uh, got a lot to get to still. So this, we're looking at the uh, dark pool volume for yesterday, and we're gonna to get to the options chain in a minute. Yesterday we had 44% of the volume occurred on the dark pool. Uh, that is quite a fucking bit. And so a little bit below average though for the, the rolling 30 day average. Normally we're at about 62% of the, of the volume coming on that dark pool. Uh, you're not gonna like the options chain here <laughs> for Oh, they only show options for August 20th. That is unfortunate. But as we can see here, if we go out of the money options right now, 48,982 in the money, uh, eight. <laughs> Fucking eight options in the money. Insane. Insane stuff. All right, let's shoot over to Ortex quick. Let's see if we got any changes here. Utilization is up a little bit, 1% uh, change. Cost to borrow is down and it continues to go down. Let's see if we go here, yeah. Down, this is from yesterday. Uh, they don't have anything from today, unfortunately, but it is down to 1.96%, down from 3. I think it's going to keep going lower for a bit. And we do have uh, 600,000 short shares available, uh, which is creeping back down pretty low. Short, uh, short interest percentage of the float sitting at 6.56, and the short uh, days to cover is creeping back up now and we do have a big institutional buy from yesterday that I want to get to because it's very significant uh, this New York State Common Retirement Fund picked up 57,650 shares of MMAT and I want to go real quick over here so a little, little blurb about the New York State Common Retirement Fund. Uh, the, it is the third largest public pension fund in the United States. The fund holds and invests assets of the New York State uh, and local retirement system on behalf of more than 1 million state and lo local government employees and retirees and the beneficiaries. The fund has been consistently ranked as one of the best managed and best funded in the nation. Uh, so apparently they are seeing something in MMAT that they like. Yeah, these funds have a high degree of risk management. Risk slash reward must have looked good to them. I'm glad the pension fund will benefit from this stock. 
you know, one of the best managed retirement funds in the USA just invested almost half a million in MMAT. They have done their DD and approve of this stock. Yes. All right, going back over to the Naked Short Report from yesterday. Ooh, uh, short volume was very fucking high, and it is creeping back up to the previous high levels uh, that we saw last week. Last week was, um, this is maybe two weeks ago now, July 21st was the second highest uh, day where we had the highest percentage of short volume. Yesterday was a pretty low volume day, but most of it was shorts. And I'm sure uh, when we look tomorrow, it's going to be probably even higher. So all that means is it is a great opportunity to average down and pick up a couple more shares if you can, if you're in a position to do so, because I think after earnings, uh, this is, shit's going to get pretty spicy with all those uh, failures to deliver. They're going to have to start delivering on those uh Theoretically, next week, I know I keep saying next week, but I think with the T plus 35, unless they pull some more fuckery and just kick the can down the road a little more, uh, we're going to have to wait and see on that. But that is just about going to do it for this one, guys. Just want to give you a quick update on all of the uh, data that we're looking at here. And so, as always, please make sure you're subscribed to the channel for more updates on meta materials as well as other stocks and tokens we like. And I thank you guys so much for watching this far, and I'll see you in the next video.